The Jenkins performance plugin presents graphs that show different KPIs of your Taurus test, enabling you to analyze the results. This is useful when you are running your load test with Jenkins and you want to have immediate access to some basic information that lets you quickly understand if you need to investigate further. In this video, we will see how to run Taurus with the Jenkins Performance Plugin. The Jenkins Performance Plugin presents graphs that shows different KPIs of your test and also it enables you to analyze the results. This is useful when you are running your load test with Jenkins and you want to have immediate access to some basic information that lets you quickly understand if you need to investigate further. Now we will see how to get this Jenkins performance plugin installed. So go to Jenkins, log into Jenkins, under Jenkins you see manage Jenkins option. Under manage Jenkins you see manage plugins option. Click on manage plugins and this performance plugin will be available under the available tab. But for this demonstration, we have already installed the performance plugin. So it is available under install tab for us. Performance plugin is already installed. So now let us see how to use this performance plugin to do the performance testing. So we go back to the project. So click on back to dashboard. Go to the project. Click on configure option. Once you get that configure option, go to build step and add the build step as run performance test. Now here it is already configured to run with Taurus so we don't need to enter the BCT command but then we will give the other options that with script that I want to run. So we use jmeter Taurus jmeter script1.yaml and we also give the other options that I want to get this report on place meter. So I give the place meter token uh, so API key so the API key is available in the key binding so about this uh, step you can see here the variable key is mapped with uh, API key or place meter so we use that here. We can also give other options to overwrite that's what hyphen o option does so we can overwrite the execution hold for parameter by using this option execution dot zero dot hold for equal to one minute followed by report option to get the report on place meter. So once you have entered this command, you can click save and you can build this by clicking build now option so that it gets started execution here. So let's see the console output on to understand how it is getting executed. So you can see that the command is available and it is starting its execution as well. And here it shows the place meter link that connects to my credentials so that you will see the final report in my workspace. So it is getting executed now. Uh, so meanwhile, you can also see the place meter 
So I'll open it in another tab. So here we can see in place meter what's happening with the system. So we can see the test is getting executed. You can see the response time, mood, pattern, all that. So we go back to the case to see what's happening here. So you can see the, the load pattern here, the how many users, how many hits. Also you can see the response time. So let's go back to Taurus Jenkins here. Now we can see that uh, the test got executed. You can see the statistics over here. And you can also see the final status uh, report as XML here. It's also giving the report link. And you can see that uh, the build step that is run performance test is executed successfully. So when you scroll back and click to back to project, you can see the build number. Next to the build number, you see performance report and view external report. So if you go to performance report, I'm opening it in another tab. So where you can see the performance report with the trend here. So you can see as per URI how many samples are there, all that stuff. By clicking view external report, it will take you to you know, place meter where you can see the final statistics with the graph. Thanks for watching this video.